Hi, this is Gary from Cheetah Transformation, and this is a video covering new functionality released by Smartsheet in August 2021. In this video, I'll be covering some new functionality just released by Smartsheet for forms and data validation. As previously mentioned in one of my earlier videos, one of the key settings to have on your profile is around show what's new screens because what will happen if that's ticked is anything that's new is added by Smartsheet. When you actually go to that area within Smartsheet, as we are going here in Forms, you can see that there's some new validation here in regards to what's available. Okay, so for this video, uh, I've created this simple contact sheet uh, and I have a couple of forms just to give you a demonstration of data validation elements within Smartsheet. So you see I've got two forms, one with, one without. And if I open this form here, you can just see what it is. And then if I open it to complete it. So this form doesn't have any data validation. But as you can see, the red asterisk means that this is a required field on the form. So I can fill this out. Um, I might misread that and just sort of say, OK, you want my, my name again. I'll put my name in again, uh, my contact number. Um, actually, I don't want to. Be contact on my mobile, so I'll just put some something in and say I'll just say please contact me, and then I submit that. So that's been submitted. If we go back to the sheet here and refresh the sheet, there you go. You can see that entries in here. So I have my name. I don't have an email because obviously I misread it for some reason. I didn't want to be contacted on my mobile, um, but there you go. It's there. So what data validation does is it sort of enforces um, some governance over the data that's being entered within your form. Um, so I've got it. Uh, I've got data validation on my email and also my mobile number. As you can see here, these are validation options that have just been added. So uh, we're just using email and phone, but you can use a number only or percentage if you wanted to, depending on your requirements. Um, but this this means that you know I, I, it needs to be a valid email address. So if I just put in there Gary Thornton, as I'll show you shortly, it wouldn't accept it. So it, it just prompts me that I've made a mistake potentially. And also this one here, I, I can't put any nonsense in here like an ABC. I'll actually have to put a phone number in. So if we open the form and go through that, I've added some conditional logic into this form as well. Um, so Gary Thornton, if I did the same and just put my name in again, because I thought that, if I can spell it correctly, that's what was required, um, then you can see that it's an invalid email format so it's prompted me as like, okay I've done that wrong so they're after my email um, so I put my correct email in um, and again here if I just want to put ABC I can't actually do that I'm tapping the A key now and it won't let me do that so it's again prompted me to put an email uh, my, my correct number in um, and there we go sales and please contact me and submit that go back to the sheet again you can see that I've got the contact now I've got a correct email address I have a contact number now and it's obviously asking me to contact them so I can do that so there you go that is um, forms and the new functionality of data validation thanks for watching and for further details on our free and paid Smartsheet training courses please visit the training and events section on our website at www cheetahtransformation.co.uk Alternatively, contact us directly on help at cheetahtransformation.co.uk to arrange a call to discuss your requirements further.